Thanks a lot, Bruce. It's a story of a brother's love. Will Allen wrote a book 24 years ago, but he didn't leave, live to see it published. Swords for Hire has received national acclaim because Will's brother pushed to make his dream come true. Paul Allen is here with more of their story. Welcome, Paul. Thanks for having me. It, it's great to see you. And what a great story this is. Uh, your brother, Will, had a dream of, of writing books, I guess. And tell me what happened. Well, he always, he wrote stories, songs, everything. Since mm -hmm. he was maybe in first grade, he really? just wrote tons of stuff. And um, he, uh, he had cancer in college and ended up um, dying in 1980. But in a few months before he died, he, he'd go back in his room and close the door and we'd hear him on a typewriter. Mm. And it's like, what are, you, what are you doing? And he said, you'll see. So literally Christmas Day, he gave gave the family, each of us, a copy of the story. And it's a funny kind of adventure story, and uh, we were just blown away by it. Tell me a little bit about, about this book. Uh, it's called Swords for Hire, yes. and, and you sort of likened it to The Princess Bride? Yeah, it's got that same feel. It's, it's an old time, and you know, ancient, it's in the ancient kingdom of Parmal. And, um, but the same feel, there's, you know, there's kings and knights and fighting, but it's also, it's a comedy. It's a very humorous book. So it's for kids and adults, right? Yeah, I, it's funny. The reviewers, um, <laughs> kind of like Harry Potter, it's mm -hmm. positioned as a as a kids book. But the reviewers, it's gotten 25 great reviews, and uh, a lot of them have said, you know, I was laughing out loud as I was reading this book. Did it take you 24 years to get it published, or or did you just decide to do this recently? Well, it's funny. I, I just never thought of it. You uh -huh. know, I mean. I, I, I was younger, a lot of things were different mm. then, but every few years I'd get it out and read it, and it's, a, it's such a cool way to remember him, and he's left us a lot of other stuff that I hope to do some stuff with too. But it wasn't until I read it out loud to my children, and I'd read him other books, and it's like, this is as good as, as the other things I've read him. So it's really just taken a life of its own since then. What's it mean to you to be able to do this for your brother, even though he's not here to see it? It's the coolest thing I've ever done. I mean, I, I've done some neat things at work and, and other things, but this is just so neat to see. You know, what hit me a couple of years ago is like, we used to say, it's like, I wonder what he would have been. I bet he would have been a successful author. And it's like, he can still be a successful author. Yeah. And it's really just taken off, um, the, you know, the reviews. It's, in, it's available in bookstores now. And um, swordsforhire.com is the website you can go and see the reviews and stuff and it's just it's just a dream come true and you can also get to that website through our website fox19.com and one other interesting note is that the foreword is by Nancy Cartwright who's the voice of Bart Simpson who went to OU with Will so it's wonderful and I can't wait to read it with my daughter oh, Paul great. thank you so much thanks so much it for having nice me it was nice to have you thank you.